and spiritual material abundance, you build emotional and spiritual resilience around you like a buffer within you and around you to deal with everything going on in your life, in the world. And it's pretty intense these days in the US, but in other countries and on the planet with the ecological crisis. So on all levels, there's a lot of intensity. And so when you live in spiritual material abundance, in the spaciousness of abundance, you build resilience, spiritual and emotional resilience to deal with it. So let's dive into today's post. So I picked a post. So the focus today is how to move, how to go from problem to progress. And I picked a post that I posted last Wednesday. So on Wednesday, I usually post a post um, that focuses on the expansive method, uh, which is the four keys to spiritual material balance. That's the expansive method. Um, and the first key is expansive presence. And so the post is, when we expand our consciousness, we discover new possibilities and creative solutions to our current problems. So when we expand our consciousness, we come up with creative solutions to the issues we deal with, the problems, the daily stuff that we all have to make choices all the time, and bigger life, life crossroads or relationship issues or work or finance or your purpose, things that are bigger. For all of them, when we are more spacious, we come up with creative solutions. And I wanna break this down to how it works, why and how it works. And so I've shared it before many times, but if you just look at this here, like let's say you're focusing on a problem now and you're this focused on it, you can see all the space for coming up with a solution is within the palms of my hands, right? Now imagine if I created spaciousness here and we'll go into how you can do that. Now there's more, there's a larger field to solve the problem, right? Go like this, there's even a larger field to solve the problem, right? So it makes sense logically that when you expand your horizons, your mind, your emotional state, you have more spaciousness and you can solve your problems from a more spacious state of mind and being, right? When described like this, it makes a lot of, so a lot of sense, right? And so the question is, how can you create more spaciousness? And I'll say again, when you're spacious, okay, I'm just doing this spaciousness here, I'm more relaxed, I'm more peaceful, I'm more joyful, I'm more trusting. Those qualities help me solve a problem that I'm dealing with in a more efficient and effective way than if I am thinking that I'm efficient, but I'm super stressed and I'm trying to focus it and, and to just get the answer and let's do it already. That's much less efficient and effective way to solve a problem than from a spacious place, right? I know the solution is gonna serve the greater good. It's gonna be just what I need. It's gonna all work out. If those are the thoughts that I have, we're gonna come up with a better solution, right? And so how can you create the spaciousness? Now there are endless ways, and that is a lot of what I teach are meditations on how to create spaciousness, how to get into the first key to spiritual material balance, which is expansive presence through your breath, through gratitude. There are endless, endless ways beyond what, what we can do now. But let me just give you a few very simple ways how you can use your senses to do that or your, um, your, your physical state, your emotional state. So just if you go from this to this, if you physically go like this and create physically a space for yourself, you'll feel more spacious. This is how the mind, emotions, body are connected. Take a look, we're all connected here. And so if I just go like this, I feel more spacious. If I circle around and I go, this is my space to solve this issue and this problem that I'm dealing with, then I feel that I have much more spaciousness. So when you decide to focus on something, First, identify what you want to focus on. 
if it's a big problem or something small, the issue that just needs to be solved. And then physically create the space and say, this problem, I wanted to sit within this large circular space around me versus this small space, you see? This doesn't feel good. After I've done this, this doesn't feel good anymore. And so create physically the spaciousness for your issue, your challenge, your problem to reside in a larger, more relaxed, spacious, physical space. Now let's go from physical to emotional. So what qualities would you want to bring in to solving your problem? Depending on what the focus of your problem is, what the area is, right? But you can bring peacefulness into any situation. You can bring efficiency in. You can bring creativity in. You can bring um, innovation in. You can bring excitement in. You can bring ease in. So you bring the quality that you want to help you come up with a creative solution for your problem and you invite that quality into this space. So I might say for my, what I want to work on, I'm, so I'm, I'm currently, uh, I've begun working on my second book. And so there's a lot of pieces, a, a lot of moving pieces, and it takes time to kind of get me going and into the writing. And so I might focus on how, how what's the structure? How do I make it logical, simple for someone? So that's a, an issue that I'm dealing with and I want a solution for. And it can be things that are really larger, harder, but you know that the more you feel stressed, the more you're in tunnel vision, the more you have tunnel vision, right? We're all that way. And it's the hardest to think of let's expand when we're feeling really stressed, right? I, I, I forget that I can use the four keys to spiritual material balance that I developed when I am in tunnel vision, right? So, but now that you hear, you, you hear this, try to focus on, on, on a neutral problem or on a bigger one by creating physical space. Really literally turn the space and create it around you. And then emotional space. What qualities do you want to bring in to the team, your internal team that's going to solve the problem? And invite those qualities in. And so now you want to ask specifically for what you want from this place of spaciousness. What is the problem that you want to solve? And you have two choices, like in general, like two large choices. One is to sit and see if an answer shows up immediately. Sometimes when we just are spacious and allow ourselves to hear what's trying to come through to us, the answer comes immediately. The other choice is to go about your day. Because when you are not focused on your problem, you are in a more expansive state in relationship to the problem. You are elsewhere, you're listening to music, you're in a meeting, you're cooking, you're driving, you're talking to someone. You are not in the narrow focus of your problem, you're in an expanded thinking about something else. And so then the answer shows up suddenly, in the shower, in the car, in odd places, you know, just doing seemingly mundane things and the answer pops into your mind and it goes like, oh, why didn't I think of that before? So these are two ways how you can wait for an answer from your internal team now that you've expanded both physically and emotionally. And then you can expand by just listening and staying in this expansive state or you can expand by going off to do something else from the focus and the answer will show up at some point. Um, a synchronistic event might suddenly show up. It's like, wow, how cool is that that this happened exactly when I was just focusing on this issue? Uh, and, and the synchronistic event can be a piece of information that you just needed in order to solve your problem or a person contacting you or something you see that just allows you to come up with a solution. Um, and it may feel like a little miracles but the minute you start organizing yourself intentionally both physically and emotionally mentally spiritually into a focus an intentional conscious focus on any issue or problem you will go from problem to progress you will progress because the spaciousness will allow information to show up into a larger field and the solution will come to you
in one way or another. And so, <coughs> sorry, so practice this. It's, in a sense, it's very simple. This is, it, everything in the expansive teaching is, is really focused on expanding your consciousness and putting yourself in a more spacious state of mind, state of being, emotional state, and trying to solve your problems from that place. So try this out. You can leave me a comment. You can ask a question. I bet you I engage with you. I send you off with blessings of spaciousness and expansiveness, relaxation and ease in order to solve your daily problems and your life challenges. Blessings.